We are gathered here to do something that's very important, having been convened by the Men's Roundtable as the men of South Africa to say we want a better society for the men and the women of our country. And today's dialogue has been convened to discuss what many of us regard as the social ills that face our society. This dialogue is meant to affirm that the majority of South African men want to end the violence and abuse suffered by women and children as well as other men. And through this dialogue, we want to send a clear message that this violence must come to an end. This moment allows us to acknowledge the trauma and the shame that is brought to many of our women by the actions of a minority of men who perpetrate violence and abuse. But this dialogue has also been convened to say, let's help those who need help. Those who need help as victims, as survivors, or as perpetrators. We want to bring to bear the full might of the law on perpetrators and the full impact of our support services on those who need those services most. Men from all walks of life are here today, from business, from the faith-based communities, from government, from civil society, and many other sectors. They're here today to look at how we as men of South Africa can contribute towards sustainable solutions. It is not by coincidence that we are gathered here at the old women's prison on Constitution Hill. The women's prison here is a monument that captures the stories of many women, women who constituted the vanguard of our struggle for justice, equality, and dignity among the women who were incarcerated here were the likes of Umamu Winnie Mandela, Matigizela, Megi Khesha, Esther Baas, Fatima Mir, Albertina Susulu, Barbara Hogan, and many other heroines of our struggle. We dare not forget the supreme sacrifice that such women and many other unsung heroines from the cities, from the townships, from the rural hinterland of our country paid for our freedom and our dignity. As the seat of our constitutional court, this place, Constitutional Hill, is a monument to our national resolve that the atrocities and human rights violations and abuses of the past have no place in a democratic South Africa today, and certainly they have no place in the future society that we are in the process of constructing from the ashes of apartheid. Built from the rubble of the notorious Old Fort Prison, our internationally acclaimed constitutional court is indeed our ultimate defense of the right to human dignity which is enshrined in our Bill of Rights. Our courts will always be there to protect the vulnerable in our society and will always be there to serve as a break on the excesses of those who have no regard for their fellow human beings. It was a joy yesterday to meet with the justices of our courts in a delegation that was led by our president, as the justices of our court reaffirmed their resolve in as far as executing 
the mandate that is given to them in the Constitution. But we cannot and should not rely on our courts to be the first resort to change and transformation in our society. There's much more that we can rely on. It is in our own hearts and behavior that the building of a better South Africa should begin. It remains, therefore, our collective responsibility to eliminate structural violence and sexism, to reduce and eliminate inequality, and to consciously strive to build a non-sexist, non-racial society. Today, the men's sector is calling upon all South Africans to rally behind the campaign Dakwani Rime, which is aimed at structuring a proactive and responsive men's movement. Dakwani Rime is a clarion call to action by men, to other men, to stand up and to lead or be part of a humane culture that is based on values of care, values of support, of respect between men and women. This campaign builds on Not In Our Name campaign, which was launched by former Deputy President Halema Mutlante in 2013. Under the banner of this campaign, we pledged that no woman, no child shall be harmed in our name and certainly and definitely and irrevocably not in our name. One of the key components of Takuani Rime is to strengthen the coordination and the capacity of the men's civil society movement in response to our social challenges. As part of the campaign, today we are launching the draft South African Men's Charter. This is a really wonderful development. You will know that in the 50s, the women of our country led from the front, and they launched the Women's Charter before the Freedom Charter was even launched. The women of our country have always taken the bull by the horns. Today, we are following in their wake. We will be launching the men's charter. This draft charter seeks to rekindle the consciousness of men so that they can awaken to their role and responsibilities in their homes, as well as in their communities. The Charter offers insights on how men can actively participate in our national program for gender equality and the total emancipation of women. Another important component of the campaign is the unveiling of the, men, of the South African Men of the Year Awards. Ooh, ooh. This is an important one. This is an important one. Yo, this one I'm really interested in. <laughs> These awards will acknowledge South African men who are community investors and developers, men who seek to restore the identity, the role, and the pride of men in society. The last critical component of the campaign is the launch of a comprehensive men's health program. This entails the provision of screening services for communicable and non-communicable diseases. This is as going to be as comprehensive as comprehensive can be. The men's health program places special emphasis on counseling and testing for HIV and the promotion of healthy lifestyles and a particular focus on alcohol and substance abuse. Today, we will take stock of the many initiatives that 
have come into play in the last 20 years to address the social challenges that we face as we are building this new society of ours. I believe this reflection will be honest and will also be hopeful. It must be hopeful for anything less than hopeful will suggest that we are a nation that is surrendering to the perpetrators of violence and abuse. And the one thing that the men of South Africa should never do is to surrender to the tyranny of a minority of men in our society who continue to abuse women and do terrible things to the women of our country. The women of our country must be treated with dignity. And we must continue to say those who are doing this are not doing it in our name. And we want this to stop, and we want it to stop immediately. Yes.